Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to the Codex. In this video, we're going to be continuing our Java series, learning all about while loops in Java. Let's get started. So first thing first, we left off where we had just covered for loops. And again, for loops are a great way to iterate over a series of numbers, or basically to go over a sequence, having your initial condition, your end condition, and then how you increment that condition by. Example would be like i is equal to zero, i less than 10, i plus plus, and then we get the numbers from zero all the way up to, but not including 10. Now it's time to come to while loops. And the gist of while loops is that you have this condition. And as long as this condition is true, the while loop will run. But as soon as this condition is false, the while loop stops, your while loop is finished, and then it continues on with the rest of the code. So the whole premise of a while loop is there are going to be some scenarios where you want to continue to run some code until something changes. Whether that condition is like, is rainy Boolean, it suddenly starts raining, your while loop stops, or it could be something as simple as a counter. And once your counter is equal to 10, then you want your while loop to stop. In that scenario, let's go ahead and implement how that would look like. First thing first, let's create a variable called i and set this equal to zero. And we're going to go ahead and create a while loop that says while this value i is less than 10, print out i. So in order to do that, we're going to say while and then the condition. And our condition is going to be while i is less than 10. So in this scenario, guys, we're basically saying that, okay, every single time we run through this loop is i less than 10. Zero, yes, one, yes, two, yes, etc., 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 until i is 10. And once i is 10, this while loop breaks. The condition is now false and the while loop will no longer execute. So in this scenario, guys, I'm going to say SL and then print out I. Now, can anyone tell me what is wrong with this code? Well, obviously you can't because you're watching this video, but just think about it for a second. What could possibly be wrong with this code right over here? Well, if you thought about it, I'll give you a couple of seconds. I'm going to pause the video. But the answer for this question is that we're not incrementing I. We have this condition I less than 10. And as you can see inside of this like helpful notification, the condition i less than 10 is always true. The variable i is not updated, updated inside the loop. So what's happening here, guys, is that we have to increment i in order to make this condition eventually false. If we don't make this condition eventually false, then we'll have an infinite loop. This code will run forever, and then we'll have to quit out of our program. So let's go ahead and say over here, i is equal to i plus one. Or again, the short form for this, i++. And now what's going to happen is by incrementing i, we're making sure that at some point in time, this condition will be false. And you know exactly at that point in time that, okay, I now know that when i is equal to 10, since I'm incrementing it, one day i will be equal to 10. And when that happens, my condition will be false and my while loop will stop. You never want an infinite loop with a while loop. So always make sure that at some point in time, your condition will actually be false. So go ahead and save this guys and now let's compile this so java c main.java and then java main and let's take a look we get 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 if you couldn't see that let me just expand that there we go we have all these 10 numbers fantastic so again um that is the very simple use case of while loops in java it doesn't really get any more complicated than that just always know that there's some condition that you initially want to be true and then after that you can go ahead and update that condition and hopefully at some point in time that condition becomes false. There's also another type of while loop called the do while loop. And the do while loop basically runs this code inside first and then checks the condition. So I want to go ahead and convert this code into a do while loop and you can go ahead and follow along. So in my do while loop, I'm going to go ahead and say something like this system.out.println i and then i plus plus and then I'm going to do this code while i is less than 10. So again, it's the exact same concept, except what's changed now is that I'm performing this code first, and then I check the condition. So if I go ahead and run this, and I say java c main, not java, java main, you can see now that it only prints out from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 9. But the case of this is slightly different. Now what I'm doing is I'm incrementing and running this code first, and then I have my while condition last. So there's two ways of doing it. You can either first check your condition or first run your code and then check the condition. Based on your circumstance, either one works. Anyways, fantastic job, guys. This was a very quick introduction into while loops. You can do a lot with them, run different conditions, have different code inside. But this video was a general understanding of how while loops work and how to implement them in Java. 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.